If you like Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, then you might also enjoy Actual Yu-Gi-Oh! Now streaming on Crunchyroll alongside Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Season 4. Here's a trivia question. Who won the duel between Jaden and myself in the final episode of GX? We'll give you the answer right after this episode. The difference between me and Ash Ketchum? I've actually won a tournament or two. It's only a matter of time before the Pharaoh gets here. And when he does, I'll be ready. Ready to unleash justice. Ready for anything he can possibly throw at me. Hey Blondie! Watch me totally make this jump! You know there's a path leading down the other side of the- Yeah, Hossi, yeah! <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. Learned that trick from playing Super Mario World. I always sacrificed Yoshi for the sake of jumping a few extra inches. Oh yeah? Well, I learned this trick from playing Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> you just took down that whole bridge, man. What are you, YouTube? No, I am your reckoning, Pharaoh. I am the one who will take your soul and destroy any hope you have of success. Oh yeah? Well I'm going to defeat you in a children's card game. And then justice will be served. I agree. Justice will be served. When I beat you. I'm talking about the kind of justice where the good guy wins and the bad guy loses. That's exactly what I'm talking about as well. Okay. So, we're on the same page? Yep because I'm going to win. Okay, let me explain this whole justice thing to you one more time, because you seem very confused. I play Guardian Treasure. Wait, this card lets me draw two new cards, so long as I get rid of my entire hand. Hang on! It also allows me to draw an extra card every turn. Okay, but- Then I place a monster in defense mode. It's your move. Right, um, time out. What are you doing? Playing the card game. Yes, but why? Because we're in a duel? That's not how this works. We usually say we're going to play a card game, but then we spend the entire duel making wisecracks and referencing internet videos. Then at the end I win and people laugh and have a good time. This time, none of those things are going to happen. Why not? Because we're not doing things your way anymore, and we never will again. Now, I'll say it one more time. It's your move. Uh, yes, of course it is. Let me just take a look at my cards here and, uh... Oh God, what do I do? Hey Duke, I appreciate you giving us a ride to the duel and all, but can we maybe turn the radio down a little? This song gets old real fast. For the last time, the radio isn't even switched on. Now strap yourselves in, boys. Cause like any given night with me, you're in for a rough ride. <laughs> What's the matter, Pharaoh? You act like you've never played this game before. I'll have you know that I am the king of this and every other game. Monopoly. Clue. Shoots and ladders. I rule over all of them. Doesn't mean I understand them. But we're not playing just any game. Right now, we're playing Duel Monsters. Yet the only real monster I see on the field is you. You keep acting like I'm the bad guy. Think about it. You don't have any memories of your time as Pharaoh. So it stands to reason that you could have been an evil Pharaoh. Interesting. So what you're saying is that morality isn't cut and dry. Even the best people have a darker half to their personalities. And nobody is really perfect. No, I'm saying that having the ability to be evil makes you evil. Well, that doesn't seem right. Evil isn't right. It's wrong. Look, all I'm saying is bad. Just let me explain why I disagree with evil. It's just that nobody can be completely- Stop being so evil! Okay, so I guess this season was written by someone straight out of kindergarten then. Even if you knew how to beat me in this game, you couldn't. Because unlike you, I have a bond with my cards. They are my family. Maybe you should consider putting your family into a protective sleeve. My family is dead. Let me guess. Killed by something evil? We were on a cruise liner in the middle of the ocean. My family was rich beyond our wildest dreams. So obviously for my birthday, they got me the most expensive gift you could possibly give another person. A single trading card. Why is everybody in this show either a super rich asshole or from a broken home? Or in Kaiba's case, both. Our ship was hit by a tidal wave, and I was washed up on the shore of an undiscovered island. 
the ocean had taken everything from me. Oh, I get it. You're like the edgelord version of Mako Tsunami. The edgelord version of who? Trust me, he's more memorable than your character will ever be. But please, Mr. Edgelord, continue lording those edges. I lived on the island for several years. Most people would be ruined by the experience, but somehow it turned me into a young Fabio. There were drawbacks, of course. Human language became lost to me. For a while, all I could say was, Zug Zug. Ha <laughs> Zug Zug! That's hilarious! You should go back to doing that, you'd be way more fun to talk to. One day, a mysterious island appeared just offshore. I swam out to it, but a tidal wave took me under the surface. The same tidal wave that killed your family! It's back for revenge! Okay, so... Maybe I'm a little evil. When I was underwater, I heard a mysterious, enigmatic voice calling to me. Waffael, remember my wilds? We will meet again in the future. Where Paul Nibongi, I will recruit you, and together we will ravage the world, man. I couldn't understand a word of it. When I woke up, I was floating on a raft in the middle of nowhere. Then a bunch of human beings saved me, and it was at that moment that I decided that all of humanity was evil and deserved to be punished. Starting to notice one or two holes in your little story. As I grew up, I started to realize that everything around me was evil, and then the island showed itself to me yet again. Raphael, I have returned, and it is time for you to reach your full potential, and will waste the power of the Orakakamalos! Let me guess, you still couldn't understand him. No, this time I understood perfectly. I understood that humanity is a blight on this world. The only way to fix things is to wipe all the evil off the face of the planet, starting with you, Pharaoh. Speaking of wiping, you must have gone through a lot of leaves on that island. Were you listening to a single word I said? In my defense, I listened to at least five of them. It's a new record for me. I summon the magnificent Karibo brothers in attack mode! <laughs> Those puffballs are no match for my guardian monsters. What was that? I said your little cotton balls are useless against the might of might. Really can't hear you over here. Your Karibos aren't gonna last long against my- Okay, everybody, just quiet down already! Jeez! La! <laughs> Yugi just put his balls on the field. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rex. Yeah, Weevil? Remember when we were two of the best duelists in the region? <laughs> you said region. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I activate exchange. This card allows me to switch one of the cards in my hand with one of yours. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm trading away one of my trading cards. It feels so wrong. I think you'll be pretty pleased with what you got out of it. Why, did you give me a get out of season 4 card? Ugh, the seal of Orichalcos! Why would you give this to me? The only way to prove how evil you are is to force you to use a card that makes you be evil. Um... And now to see what you gave me. Uh... What, you don't like it? Why do you even have a Wadapon? Hey, I didn't judge you, Mr. My Cards are my family. Actually, you did. Yeah, I kinda did, didn't I? Pharaoh, no matter what, you mustn't use that card. It takes people's souls. Don't worry, Yugi. There's absolutely no reason to even use it. That's right. There are no stakes involved in this duel. Even if you lost this card game, nothing would change at all. Wait, what's that now? I could lose? Well, yeah, I mean, your dragon Tamias is frozen in place, and you really don't have that many life points left, but again, there's literally nothing at stake here, and a single loss wouldn't really hurt Curse you. Curse you, Raphael! You've given me no choice! Wait, what? I have to activate the Seal of Orichalcos! No! No, you don't! Too late, it's activated! I hope you're happy, Raphael, the guy who totally made me do this against my will. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, that was cool. Hey, we got here just in time to watch you beat the sideburns off that creep. Um, <laughs> how'd you guys get here? We rode in Duke's car. How'd you guys get here? We took a bicycle. Really seems like we should have got here first. <laughs> Rex says it's best not to think about stuff. Huh, I'm gonna try that. Wow, suddenly everything makes perfect sense in this season. Welcome to my world, child. Now, do you see how right I was about you being evil? Yes, Raphael. I see exactly what you mean. And now that I know how evil I can be, 
I'm going to destroy you and everything you hold dear and bathe in the afterglow of your demise. <laughs> Well, well, good. I'm, I'm glad this worked out. Yay. Pharaoh, no! You're being evil! Like season zero evil! You have to snap out of it! What's that, Yugi? Okay, Yugi says I should snap you in half. No! Good luck when I've got my guardian monsters on the field. They'll protect me from anything. Look at you being all defiant. It's cute. But once I've assembled all my monsters, I'll hurl them at you with my catapult turtle in a wave of deadly precision. And as you just finished telling me, a wave is all it takes to break you. It's time to da 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 die. Any final words? Just this. I activate Celestial Sword! Well, it's hardly either those curtains go or I do, but it's something, I suppose. With Guardian Iatos' special ability, I can remove all the monsters you've selfishly sacrificed and add their attack points to my monster. No! If only I hadn't discarded so many of my children's trading cards! The most evil thing a person can do! I'm basically Hitler right now! Please forgive me! Don't worry, guys. Yugi always figures out a way to turn things around at the last second. He'll win this duel any minute now. Go, Guardian Iatos! Wipe out the Pharaoh's remaining life points and take his soul! Yeah! Any minute now. No! no way. Yugi actually lost and stuff. Any minute now. Game over, Pharaoh. Thanks to the seal of Arikalkos, I've now proven that everyone in the world has the potential to be evil. A fact that is common knowledge to anyone over the age of 10. Speaking of 10, that's about how many seconds you've got before the seal rips the soul from your still screaming flesh. I love being a good guy. I've got this, Pharaoh. Yugi, what are you doing? It's funny. I always wanted to be like the Dark Magician. But compared to you, I'm just a Karibo, so I'm using my special ability. But that means- Yes, I'm discarding myself from the field, so that no harm comes to you. Yugi! Don't be a Karibo! <laughs> Yo, now! It's okay, he landed on the horse. Whoa, these Arakalkos guys rule. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe they can help us score. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's waking up. You, you had us worried there for a sec. But I knew you could do it. So tell us, how would you manage to outwit Raphael and fool him into thinking you lost your soul? <laughs> the Joey and the Yuki. <laughs> uh, uh, Yuki's gone. <laughs> the light went away. <laughs> All right, you're probably still shaken by the <laughs> Yuki fell down and I fell down and I came and Don't worry, Yuki. We'll give you a minute to regain your composure. Yuki, Yuki is gone and I'm alone and... <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, I think you got it out of his system. Yuki! <laughs> That's right! The extremely handsome fellow who won the Jaden vs. Yugi duel was... Me! Myself! This guy! It's completely unambiguously canon! You can watch me duel the pants off Jaden and many other memorable moments from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Season 4 on Crunchyroll.com. Remember, a true duelist supports the official release. Any minute now!